Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. Um, to all those who was asking, I'm much better. I didn't forget you guys. I was not well, but I'm on the mend as you can see, feeling much better. Thank you for asking. And if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the different videos I post each month. And I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box, along with how to contact me for personal reading. So let's see what we have going on here. Caught in man. Could be you. Ready to date or ready for love to come into your life here. Yeah, I'm hearing that song. I don't know what it is, though. It's just ready for your love. I <laughs> don't know what that song is or who sings it. I'll try and search it, but it's somebody who's ready. I think was it, I think maybe Taurus had I'm ready. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, Destiny is having a hand in here. Okay, this is why you're ready. Destiny is ready. It's time. Wonderful. So you may be like, how am I going to start dating Stephanie? Have you seen the state of the world? How am I dating? Don't ask me, ask destiny. Whatever's going on. Spiritual growth. So you've had this growth. Um, this is why destiny can step in and help you out here. Let's get one more. Should I have? Did, did I make a mistake, guys? Let me know you've had this spiritual growth from a past love because a destined event happened, but destiny is about to have a hand in this connection. Again, if it doesn't resonate, I'm sorry, guys. I've got lots of other videos out for um, November and, you know, I post all the time. So hopefully, you know, you'll find a video that resonates with you. Check your moon and rising signs if you don't resonate with your sun. Okay, so past love, let's see. Ten of Swords. They betrayed you. They made you go through a transformation. That's why you had that spiritual growth. That Ten of Swords is the death card. Ultimate betrayal there. The world. You, you had to move to 5D. You basically was be betrayed. You could have traveled the world for this person um, as this caught in man and they betrayed you in some sort of way here. All these swords in your back. Um, it wasn't easy. You had to get, you had to break down and change every single last part of you with this world card here. You're a completely different person. Now you're meditating. Now you've got this spiritual growth. Um, now you're looking at um, butterflies and appreciating nature. You know, you're looking at the whole world differently. Queen of Cups. But love is here. You just need to um, grow a little bit more if this Queen of Cups is your energy. The Queen of Cups is very loving and giving to everybody. And she'll give and she'll give and she'll nurture and she'll love. Um, but the King of Cups might be a little bit more wiser with his offerings, right? He's ready for love too, but he's ascended to a place where not everybody's welcome, especially somebody who may be from the past and betrayed you. Um, because if they haven't done the same work as you do or the same spiritual growth you do, they'll come and drain you of this love again and this growth again because you can't fool the universe that world card there you know you may be able to say i've grown spiritually i won't fall for it again and as soon as they look in your eyes you melt like butter um <laughs> the universe can't be fooled as easy so was this betrayal enough to help them grow too page of wands they definitely come forward with a message here Past love comes forward with a message. Don't shoot the messenger. What do they want to say? Strength card. They can't get you out of their head. They're thinking about you. All these ten swords that are in your back have now become ten swords in their brain. They can't stop thinking about you here. Um, everything that they did, everything that was said, everything you did, everything you said, everything that when it was good, everything when it was bad, 
they've got it all in their head here. They're trying to hold it together and they're getting the strength now to come forward here. Destiny's helping them, Two of Cups. Okay, so they are a soulmate and they're coming to offer you their cup here. Um, I just wonder, have they changed enough? Have they felt enough? to like you felt that major betrayal they felt enough in order to actually change takes a lot to change we have to change ourselves another person can't change us here but something's initiating with the page of wands the soulmate connection could be a leo coming towards you or a fire sign um all that queen of cups um but i feel like you've changed so much you might be unrecognizable to this soulmate Right. They might be expecting you to be the same person as when they left. But they may have a surprise coming their way. Justice. They may have karma coming their way. They may find out that just because you're sweet and lovely and caring and a loving, nurturing person, on the wrong side of you, you might not be so sweet and loving and caring. You may give them those ten swords back and tell them where to go. Nine of Cups. Some of you are wishing to meet your ex. Um, you and them would have to outgrow spiritually this karma and deal with it and then start afresh. If you, if you want each other, you're wishing for each other. Um, I've seen no sign that they've changed, right? Could just be them wishing for you uh, because you, you're the one who's spiritually grown, right? So it could just be them wishing for you and page of swords. They're spying on you, trying to find out what's going on with you. So they're spying hard here. Maybe that you delete your social media or made yourself unavailable. This is why they start chasing. This is why... Um, they want to head back towards you. I feel like at this moment in time, you could be unaware of this person coming towards you or spying on you. Um, and that's because you're focused on self-love with the Nine of Cups. Focused on this new world that you've entered into. I don't feel like you're wishing karma on them, but I feel like karma catches up with them. Drop the card again. Just jump it off my and it is king of wands so they're ready to take action what was i saying ready for your love yeah they're ready to take action with the king of wands energy maybe as we move into sagittarius season you get to see uh things speed up in the romance department where they was very slow before could be somebody younger than you Oof, nine of wands if you're de dealing with the leo you, I just did that. They are like, you're really sort of defensive towards each other if you are. Um, this is understanding your journey, understanding your life experience that I'm at this point I'm at now in life where I face these challenges, I face these difficulties and I overcome all these adversities. I did it, being proud in yourself. Um, and not wanting to let your guard down and maybe fall in love um, with somebody who's going to hurt you. But you have to get to that point where not only have you grown spiritually and healed yourself and learned to love yourself, you've also got to get to a point where it's safe to let your guard down. Okay, guys? King of Swords. So here you are. Um, very kind, open. Open to communicating to this person, actually, uh, from your past. Um, but you, you are taking everything they say with a pinch of salt. You're going to say, okay, let's hear what they have to say, because maybe they left and blocked me in such a hurry that, you know, you was left not knowing. Actually, this seems like quite a few people in this reading. Just saying. Um, but I feel like you put your foot down here and enough is enough you've had enough you're open to listening you'll be kind and respectful but you're not going to take any crap here 
because by the time they get to you, you're no longer going to be that queen of cups loving energy that you once were. Your guard is up, you're understanding your journey, you're understanding the process and know your worth showing up as the last card, King of Swords. Well, good for you. Good luck, guys.